Hello everyone, Sonic here, and welcome back to another Truly Bedrock live stream here on Twitch. It's not actually Truly Bedrock, I'm just stuck in my ways of doing this intro after five years. Anyway, hi everybody, we're doing Technical Tuesday. We're going to be designing that 2x2 two two spruce tree farm I keep talking about. I'm excited for it, should be good. We got Archangel and Kaz being way too early in the chat. Jeez, get out of here. We got Hani and Fisher along with uh, Rabe and the other Fisher and key marmot diagonal rider scale kaz salt honey resubscribing for 17 months geez thank you so much for 17 that's crazy it's like a, a year and a, a it's a lot of time <laughs> uh we got liz and lantern beast and alicurium along with ash and kaz tiger hunter knight mikey spiky but lord unshipped and elysian or elysian i don't know man one of those two, close enough. We got Infan and King, along with Adamsum, Fast Davy, Breb, Diesel, Diagonal, uh, Kanig. Uh, I still don't know how to say your name. We got 414 in the chat. Hello? <laughs> You're giving me the option of what to ban. Okay, I'll have to read that in a second. <laughs> uh, we got It's Yogi Man. Hello, hello. Spectre in the chat. Zachary, Midnight, Morgan, Jay, Switchblade. And a couple others. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. We got Woofster Dude with the follow. Jordo with the follow. Rabe resubscribing or gifting a sub to Fisher Angel. Thank you for that. Very nice of you. Sharing the love around. Let's hop into the game, shall we? Do we want to be Darth Palp with Darth Pigpleteen tonight? Or should we be like one of our other skins? Now that we can actually change skins, we can like... Ew. Ew. Scroll up. Now that we can actually change skins, we can... uh. We can do all this stuff. I bet they probably don't have permission to do that, do they? Anyway, uh, let's see. Which one of these do we want to be? I kind of want to be this dude. He's so cute looking. This one's from... I don't know who it's from. It doesn't have the credits on it for some reason. Anyway, let's hop into the testing world. Give me nausea. Tis, tis. I missed the TV party at Bruno's. When was that? I missed the party. Man, I miss all the parties. Gosh darn it. How dare I? Anyway, what have you guys been up to today? Have you done anything fun or interesting or otherwise exciting or exhilarating or thrilling? Hopefully you has. Man, that's kind of an eyesore. That's going to be there for the entire rest of forever. <laughs> the stupid bubble column for the guardian floating bug. Really silly bug, but it's, it's great. I love it. Just work. That's sad. Well, hopefully watching the stream isn't just work. Choose wisely. Okay, let's see. What do I get myself into here? Uh, as rewards with rescue. Do -do 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 ban in action. Uh, no eating potatoes. I technically did that one just by default. I'm giving me the option of what I want to ban. Sight, have blindness effect, or creative mode flying. No creative flying? I can kind of do that one. I'm fine with that. No creative flying for for a minute. We need to find an area to uh to actually like build this tree farm. I imagine it's gonna be very big. So I've been wanting to build a two by two spruce tree farm for like a very long time because it seems pretty epic, honestly. I think it would be pretty cool. But I don't know at all how to do it. And I know it's just gonna require like a bajillion pistons. Like, every single piston in existence will be required for this to work. So, that's kind of where I'm at with it. That's why I haven't done it before, because I know it's just going to be so expensive. And it's going to be huge. But, you guys said that you wanted it. Uh, so, here we are. I'm giving, I'm giving you what you want. This is a terrible spot for a world eater. We're, we're going to go just, like, over here. <laughs> this is my, my little world painting command block setup. Everyone always wonders how I, how I do this, and it's just like, this exactly. Oop, okay, here we go. Just like that. Can we go down a layer? Nope, okay, it's at this layer exactly. Oh man, I'm still a block over, jeez. Lakes, they're annoying. Yeah, we're just gonna clear out a little area over here. Something like this. Hopefully I didn't just delete part of that tree farm. <laughs> Oops. Hopefully I don't delete part of the, uh, the sim distance markers over here. Let's see that. Looks like it's probably about perfect. Come on, is it, okay, we're out of some distance, right? Okay, never mind. Anyway, this should be enough room, I think. We don't need that much room for this. He said, not knowing how big it's going to be. 
Right, did I destroy any of this farm? I don't think I did, and that's actually kind of impressive. So I have built a couple of tree farms before. I've built the original tree farm, which still works. Uh, this does all the trees except for, you know, dark oak, 2x2 two two spruce, 2x2 two two jungle, and azalea. I think technically it works for azalea uh, if you have it on acacia mode. Or, you know what? I'm not actually sure. Let's, should we try it out real quick? I'm kind of down for it. Technically, I'm hovering, not flying. Uh, I think I need to redo that ban in action. You're right. Because I kind of forgot about it entirely. <laughs> How do I get up here? Okay, well, I didn't build stairs. I never build stairs to my builds. Because, like, why would I? I just fly up there. Is this going to work? Technically, it doesn't work. But it, it could work. If that wall pushed a little bit earlier, I think it could work. So maybe if you like change some timings on it or something, but I don't know. Not too worried about it. Anyway, it doesn't do Azalea. I did design another tree farm specifically for Azalea and all the other ones except Acacia. So that's kind of what this dude right here is. Uh, this is actually a playerless AFK tree farm. So you can just like sit in here forever or you don't even need to stand anywhere near it. It just kind of like does the thing. How do I turn it on? Uh, we do this one and this one and then we do that. Yeah, so it just like farms Azalea. Oh, you puts it in a big old cube over here. It's fantastic. We're gonna build this on Truly Bedrock someday. It's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. Actually quite happy with Azalea. Because uh, they just work really well. Hello, uh Jarel up. I don't know how to say your name, but hello there. How about an Azalea and Mud Farm for 119? A mud farm? Uh, I will be making one of those. I need to make a mangrove tree farm as well at some point. That seems a bit uh, intimidating. Or maybe it won't be so bad. They're kind of crazy looking trees, but maybe it's not as bad as I think it will be. So let's get some basic stuff laid down for the 2x2 two two spruce. Uh, I kind of have like the general ideas of it. Because we've done another farm, which is over here. This one's from Zolson. And this is a 2x2 two two dark oak tree farm. So, the dark oak tree farm is way more complicated than the spruce tree farm is going to be. I mean, this thing is just like a master class of spaghetti right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to see the tutorial for this, it's like 50 minutes long. And uh, it's just insane. Seriously, like, just excellent engineering. Everything about this is within a 16x16. 16 16, and it's just like... Bruh, yeah. So, <laughs> this is kind of like the size of the 2x2 two two spruce, but it's going to be a lot simpler. Dark oak trees, you need to break like a ton of leaves to get sapling return rates that are, you know, positive. And then they also have all the branches, so you need to double, triple fire. They go off in random directions. It's it's just a whole mess. Uh, spruce trees are literally just 2x2, two two, and they just go straight up. It's fantastic. Looks like a redstone monstrosity. You would be correct. That's because it is. <laughs> when, when he sent that to me, I was like, oh my god. god like, dude, that, that is some craziness. That's, like, basically the only thing I've ever done a tutorial on that I just have no idea how it works. I'm like, well, it works. It, there's, uh, some some redstone and there's some some pistons and uh yeah basically i mean I, I did tear it apart a little bit to uh see see what was up of it but in general i have no idea how it works <laughs> is still since dark oak tree farm 18 game, game ticks uh, I'm not exactly sure the speed of it. You'd have to ask him. I think I might have said it in the tutorial. I'm not sure. But it's crazy. That's all it is. It's magic. Essentially, yes. It's like trying to explain the internet to a caveman. You're like, okay, so first of all, you have this de device. Oh, wait, no. Before that. Okay, what is silicon? Okay, wait. Hold on. Manufacturing? Satellites? Fiber optic? Okay, it's, it's just magic. Just It's just magic. <laughs> He's a madman. He is. He is. Right. Uh, before we get too crazy with getting infrastructure down, we need to 
figure out how tall these trees can grow. That is a very important step in this process. Because if we don't have that, then there's going to be some issues. Anyway, this is going to be our minecart. We'll be rolling back and forth to uh, plant these things. And let's get ourselves some spruce saplings. Spruce saplings. Witchcraft is how it works. Essentially, yes. I'm pretty sure it runs on a combination of quantum mechanics and witchcraft. And also black magic. Probably the Illuminati. Aliens, you know. The History Channel's got to be involved in there somewhere, too. Uh, right. Give Silent Whisperer command block. Blub, blub. Glub, glub. And... We're going to branch out... Four blocks in every direction from here. Because I think that's probably about as far out as the spruce leaves can go. I'm not too worried about them getting all crazy, though. Go from here. Boop. I, how tall do you guys think a spruce tree can get? How tall do you think it can get? Yay, and then air, zero, replace, and leaves. Ta-da! Zero blocks filled. Okay, great. Give me this. We'll just put this one right over here. Repeat. Always active. Throw this dude up. No leaves. Okay. Uh, and then we need to have a secondary one of these, which is an impulse and needs redstone. And this one is going to be a log. Is it just a log or is it wood? 32 blocks, you think? I thought it would be somewhere in the 40-ish. Oh, yeah, look at that. Because these things get tall. 31 blocks, gift type. Uh, Diagonal, thank you for gifting a sub to Dur Whopper. Hopefully you're doing well tonight. The both of you. No, we're just going to copy this. That way we can just run it. Oh, yeah, see, look at this. It gets very tall. Like, all the way up to here. Kind of tall. 89 wood blocks just from that one tree. They keep going up taller. <laughs> I wonder if they keep getting taller because we're adding more, more uh, dirt right there. Can we artificially uh, make the trees grow taller? That was 101 wood from one tree. Oh my god. Okay, no. It's not getting artificially taller. Can oh, maybe, maybe. It seems like they're getting very tall. All the way up to there. 113 wood from one tree. 31 blocks tall. Seems like it's getting... Maybe that's about the tallest. Basically, these trees are big. Very big. Okay, let's count that. See, see what's up with it. That should give us a good... Uh, a good idea of how tall we need to make this thing. So the redstone lines going vertically are also going to be an interesting challenge. Uh, I like that. That'll be good. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then this would be 31. Okay. 20, 10. So we're thinking they'll go get up to there? That seems that seems about right, honestly. That seems about right. Uh, if you're playing on PC, you can control pick block, and that'll copy a command block with all of its inventory and stuff. Very convenient. Very convenient. Not sure if that includes leaves. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about leaves. With how much leaves we're going to be breaking, just getting the logs out of here, we should be perfectly fine. Because these things are like 85% leaf by volume. And he gets so many spruce saplings. Honestly, we might, we might want to send spruce saplings overflow into a composter. That way, just get more bone meal from it. Okay. 
Yeah, that seems about right. 31 blocks. That's fair. Uh, it's good to give it a couple blocks, uh, you know, extra room there, too. Uh, we got Smok. Thank you for the tier one prime sub. How you doing tonight? Welcome in. We got Mel. Resubscribing for 13 months. How you doing as well? Jeez. Just over a year. 13's your lucky number. <laughs> uh, we also got Claston with the follow and Persistent Pickaxe with the follow as well. Welcome in, guys. Can you rickroll? No, because I'm never going to give you up or I'm never going to let you down. Both. We don't allow Rick rolls in this chat. Right then. Okay, let's figure out our piston layout. Uh, I feel like it'd probably be easier to do this on the ground. And I have some piston layouts over here. So we can kind of kind of play around with this a little bit. So the piston layout for the original tree farm is this one. Which is fair. Yeah, it would be nice if there was a way to control middle click on other devices for sure. Uh, this is just the block re uh This is just how you get the blocks out. Okay, we're we're going to have to use I think four of these. Yeah, something like that. Four of these. And then boop and boop. Yeah, okay. That seems about right. So four of those ish. And what's this one over here? Is this for that's the modified version for the original tree farm. Is the Azalea tree farm the same layout? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? I think it's basically the same layout. I didn't really redesign the, the wheel on that one. 25 wood blocks for mid-range. Yeah, so you're looking about 100 logs per spruce tree. It's so much wood. It's so much wood. Oh, the button should do the trick. Yeah, they need to really upgrade mobile and consoles in a bunch of different ways. Um, just giving them, like, the same inventory features would be great. And that's kind of really, like, the main issue of mobile. Minecraft is designed for PC. Uh, like, just from, from the very get-go, it was designed to be a PC game. So, naturally, you're going to have some issues porting it to consoles and stuff. Uh, you know what? These actually have a structure block just right on them. Convenience! Look at that. Uh, I will just take you. Yes. Give me. Give me this. We're going to go over to... Do, 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 do. Where are we going to put this at? We're going to put this somewhere over here. They're working on mobile. Yeah, they've done some upgrades recently, which is nice. But uh, there's kind of, kind of a lot that needs to be done. Okay. Bugs. Are no strangers to love. When I think I released a tutorial, it depends on uh, what we get working tonight. <laughs> right, so the piston layout is basically the most difficult part of uh, any tree farm. So let's figure this out, shall we? I haven't actually seen any tree farms for Bedrock Edition that are like this. Um, or just in general, like these these kinds of tree farms. The 2x2 two two spruce. I might have seen one from El Mango like way back in the day, but... That was when he had like 14,000 subs. It was just doing tree farms all the time. So let's see what we can get going here. Uh, we need the observers to be facing out like this. That way they double extend. We could try using slime walls. Uh, that could that could be fair. That could make this thing a whole lot cheaper. Take a, take a note out of Zolson's book. So essentially, we need this to grab four Longy Boys and extract them out of there. So you're going to have this, and then we'll just stack this vertically, essentially. Will I make a tutorial for this one? Absolutely. Uh, once I get something that's working and reliable, uh, I'll definitely see what's up with it. Honestly, I might send it to Zulsim and be like, yo, what do you think about this? Is it going to break immediately? Who knows? Because apparently he, he's like the tree farm guy. Uh, so in the corner here, we do need some actual leaves. Uh, there was an issue with the other tree farms. So because these observers get pushed out, uh, sometimes they can observe a decaying leaf in this location, and that would actually break up your walls. So we need a leaf pillar in each one of the corners or like something. I'm not entirely sure. We'll figure that out, I guess. 
Right, so now we can retract these. Oh, you know what? We don't need it on all four sides. We only need it on two sides, don't we? Okay, that makes everything a lot easier. So we don't need this one. Uh, we don't necessarily need this whole thing over here either. So we will take away all of this. And then I think we can take away all this as well. Tree farms are fun. I honestly really like tree farms. Uh, that was a little bit too fast. There we go. Okay, so now we got the logs to there. We can put our leafy boys here-ish. Make sure they don't uh, observe anything decay. And then we need a glass block in front of these observey boys. That way they don't see anything grow in front of them and break the farm. And then how do we get the logs out from there? That is the question, right? That's the question of the year. So you can bring it to the sides. And then you need to bring it over as well. So we would probably need to... Hmm. Hold on, let me get another one of these up. That way I can see how we did it with this one. When in doubt, just look at what you did before. Because that will show you what's happening. This one is a lot simpler. This is for the 2x2 two two spruce tree? Yes. Simplicity. Who am I? What do I do with silent? I always try to make my things simple-ish. Is there going to be a tutorial on the stack raid farm? There should be. Uh, I'm talking to Pico and Nico about that right now. To see what we can uh, work out. Because ideally, I'd like to do one for Sim 4, but it's it's complicated. Complicated. Hello, Logan. Welcome in. And Satisfied Carpet. Welcome in as well. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Satisfied Carpet. You, you never know what kind of names you're going to see on Twitch. And that's, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one indeed. Okay. So this should grab the logs from the middle there. Yep. So then we would have one of those on either side. And then we would need something to bring these out. I kind of don't want to bring them this way, you know? Because that's going to activate all that stuff a whole bunch. And that's going to be a lot of piston activations. But I'm not seeing how else we would get that out right now. And then... Yeah, see, now you're going to be stuck right here with it. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I think we need to redesign this a little bit because getting them getting the logs out, that's kind of the whole the whole point of the farm. Any recommendations for fast bartering farms? Uh if you move a piece of gold or a chest or something in the area, that'll make the piglins instant barter, which is always helpful. Hmm. What are you guys thinking? Do you like the tree grow as tall as much as you can or do you cap it? I'm thinking we make it grow as tall as we can. Thirty one blocks or whatever, right? I don't see any issues with that. Maybe I'll start to see some issues with that later, but not right now. Maybe we need to grab one log to each side. That would give us a little bit more room to do this. So instead of grabbing double logs here, we grab singles, right? That might, that might do it. So let's imagine that... So that one would grab this one. We would have one. Oh wait, how would we do this? Because you would want each one of these to be going to a different wall, essentially. Hello, your boy memes. How you doing? Two by two tree farms. Complicated. So that one would grab that one. But then that leaves us with the same problem over here. Uh, but then we have this one going to here. And then this one would grab that log. So that one goes to there. That one goes to there. This one goes over to here. Something like that. Just kind of split up the work across all four sides instead of just two sides. Which, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, right? Because we're going to be sending out logs all four corners anyway. 
Do I have a good tree farm for Java? No, I don't do basically any tutorials for Java edition. Ah, uh, so we need to get rid of all this. Oh, and then this is actually on the wrong side. Or maybe it's not on the wrong side. Maybe that's on the right side, because that gives us a little bit of uh, leeway there. Yeah, this could be good, actually. Okay, I think we're figuring it out. I guess it might help if you guys know basic things about tree farms, but I don't know anything about tree farms. I'm just seeing what I can get to work. <laughs> okay, that right there would work. And then that gives us a lot of room in the corners to actually get those get those out of there. I just need to strip down Dark Oak Farm, don't don't I? Something like that. Uh, honestly, we probably could look at uh, the Dark Oak Tree Farm, see how that piston layout is. But I do want to mess around with this for a little bit, see what I can come up with. Let's see. So if we start doing this, that's going to completely break the farm, which is not what we... I can't even place the piston there. It's like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> Fantastic. Tranquilos don't work on Java. No, they do not. They're basically just a bedrock exclusive, uh, which is fantastic. We need more bedrock exclusive features. We deserve it. <laughs> we also, uh, you know, I wonder if you could just have a piston in the corner right here. Like, can we just do that? What's wrong with that, right? You only know basic redstone two by two doors. Maybe you guys start somewhere, right? Let me grab that. Let me grab that. How to get the logs out is my my question. Because I could just infinitely zigzag them, but that's not very helpful. I need to pull them over times two. We need waypoints. We need a lot of things on Bedrock Edition. We need our yeah. We need our map waypoints for sure. Okay, let's put in a double piston extender right here. We'll figure out how to wire that later, I suppose. Um, can you wire that later? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just activate the wall twice, you know? Okay, so that would grab... Those things, and then that would bring it over. But then it's still just stuck in the, the corner right there. Hello, Zelda Master, how you doing? There's probably a really simple solution to this that I'm just not seeing. I know what it is. We just need to get our... We don't have any regular pistons. I've yet to use regular pistons in this build. We also new. Hello, Bite. We need to get a piston like that way and then push the logs out like that. And that way we can just permanently activate this like all the time. That's essentially what needs to happen there. But I'm not sure how to get the logs in front of that. If you know what I mean. Are 2x2 two two jungle trees taller than 2x2 two two spruce? I do not actually know. Push it down from the corner. Well, the thing is that we're, we're building this uh, modular because we're going to be making this 30-ish 30, 30 blocks tall. So anything that we do on this layer, we need to be able to stack it. We're not just doing a single log. I'm just messing with single logs right now because like layer by layer, each one of these is going to be moving one log. Go under the farm. Not very helpful. Let's refresh my recollection with the uh, <laughs> with the dark oak. He's, he's using a bunch of slime and honey and stuff, uh, which is all crazy, crazy nonsense. Yeah, see, he's getting these out to from here, taking them to here with a double extender, bringing them across again with another double extender. And then another double extender to bring him out like that. And that's over a 6x6 six six area. So lots of double extenders, which is kind of what I thought. Also, these walls are slime, so that makes it uh, a little bit easier, doesn't it? Yeah, right. It's not observer-based double extenders. It's it's redstone-based double extenders. The dark oak can't be used for 2x2 two two spruce now. It's not designed for it at all. It's way too short. Yeah, this is only for, for dark oak. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do about that. We might run into some, some, uh, some issues with the observer stuff. 
What is this witchcraft? I don't know what's in there. It's just stuff. Complicated stuff. The stuff of nightmares. Slime layout is double. Yeah, it's double extenders. Yeah, my extenders here are just wrong. That's why. We might have to go for the slime, the slime route. Dark Oak Farm, we've worked with less cycles in extended roof. Yeah, but if you're going to be doing all that, then you may as well, like, strip it down and redesign, right? So, double extender to get that stuff over to here. And then double extender to get that stuff over to here. And then regular piston right there. That's kind of what we need. So now we just need to figure out how to wire all those double extenders. And I don't think that'll be terribly, terribly complicated. We just need to make it modular. Modularity. Okay. Actually, that might work. Uh, except for the fact that we are missing our observers here to power the, the double extenders in the first place. But besides that, it's, it's working. So we need to figure out how to double extend this wall with a slime. Uh, which means that we're actually going to have to push it back. Or maybe not. Because you can just power these in alternate. Uh, actually, no, we do need to have these right there. And then there's also the problem with the bottom layer as well. But we'll figure that out. Okay. So, in essence, this is going to double extend. Like, the bottom will extend, and then the top will extend a second later. And then that's going to grab the two logs from here, which will bring them back to this wall. And then we'll have a double extender on either side, which will bring this log to here. This one will double extend, bring it from there to there. And then we'll just infinitely power this thing all the time forever to push the logs out into a cube maker of sorts. Or we can, like, re-push them directly to the side, uh, like, over, over yonder this direction. Uh, but this is going to have issues with having logs in the way of it. So we need to figure out how to double extend these without having stuff there. Okay. Are there over 300 quotes now? Oh my god, there's 300 quotes. That's, uh, that's too many. That is too many. You got Rick Rolled in a middle school band concert today? That sounds kind of nice. Goals? <laughs> right then. Okay, I think that's probably the layout. Uh, we just need to, like, do this multiple times over. So, let's, let's figure this out. I'm excited for this. This will be something new that I haven't done before. I haven't designed before, anyway. Seems like it could be, could be a nice little challenge. I will tell you right now, I am terrible at piston extenders. Those things have fry my brain. Uh, so, the non-observer-based double extenders, those are going to be kind of weird to figure out. Glazed terracotta on the floor. I think we'll have to lower the floor by a block. And then just have our hoppers down there and stuff. I think that'll be probably fine. And then, yeah, certain parts of the walls and stuff are going to have to be glazed. Terracotta. Which is fine. That's not... To be unexpected. Uh, this is all the middle right here. Yeah, so this entire floor of quartz would actually be hoppers, basically, to collect those sap lies. Okay. Uh, is that a block off? That's definitely a block off. There we go. Okay. Six by six area, is that right? This one's wrong. Yep, okay, that's all it should require. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to punch a villager in the face. That is a good quote. <laughs> Man, I wonder who said that. 
I also like the one that I said in the episode the other day, which is uh, punching villagers in the face is a fine art. <laughs> it is a fine art. Getting them into a boat like that? Like, man, not many people can do that. I can't even do it very well, and I invented the craft. It's mine. It's Minecraft. No one else can have it. Uh, let's see. So that would be that right there. Okay. Yeah, so lots of pistons. Just all of the pistons. And Casper, welcome back. Thank you for 25 months of resubscriberage. Jeez. How you doing tonight? Crazy mad lad. You're halfway to 50 months. Congrats. <laughs> Does anyone know if the Azalea Tree Farm still works? It does indeed. Uh, just make sure you don't build it on a chunk border or something. Because it might have issues. Make sure you got all of your redstone correct. Uh, Grise, thank you for the follow. We also got Templeton with the follow and M Tanda Thunder and Dot Bit Gaming along with Satisfied Carpet. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. It's Minecraft. You just gotta mine a villager's face with your fists sometimes. Yeah. Darn straight. Right. So that should be twelve in total. Uh, so let's figure out how to do these double extenders. We can power these from here. That's not an issue. These will be powered from here. We can power this one via observer or something. So that won't be an issue either. It's just going to be very tall. We need to like think ahead with this and figure out how we're going to do all that. Uh, I need some repeaters. Repeaters. It's a fun word to say. Don't judge me. Try saying it. It's fun. Which one do we want to power first, guys? I th I'm thinking we can do something like this. That might work, honestly. Uh, maybe we do a target block there. Or, you know what? Let's just forget about it. Forget about it. We need double pistons? I don't know if we even need those double pistons. Just like that. Okay. Right. I knew that would happen. I know how to do a double a double piston extender. Don't don't tell anyone that I don't. That'd be embarrassing. I lose my redstone license. <laughs> uh, how do I want to power that bottom one? I guess for now, let's just do that. Gotta put a block there. Oh right, glazed. Glazed. I know how to do a thing. I swear. I went to redstone school. I got my degree. There we go. And then we kind of need that one to be on a delay, don't we? You don't even understand what any of this is? You're not supposed to. Is that going to detect that? I don't think they, they detect being powered, do they? That's a missed opportunity. Yeah, they definitely don't detect that. Okay. Uh, let's just put a dropper there then. Whatever. Whatever works, you know? I'm trying to get a prototype here. There we go. Yeah! That'll do it. It's janky and it's it's terrible, but I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, glazed terracotta is actually a pretty epic block when it comes to slime stone and honey stone? Honey stone? I don't know. Um, so that's the thing. Let's see if we can do this proper like. So it should just crush through all of these here leaves using oak leaves. Because that's what I have in my inventory. Yep. And then... Oh, I need to bring back the piston too. Right, okay. Piston two. Yeah, so that'll be 13 blocks. That's why I can't do that. Okay. Could just do four by fours. Snails can't type. A little bit. Hmm. Let's 
Let's figure out how we can redo that. Also, I do want to test something with the spruce trees. Can they actually spawn if there's like slime blocks like right here? Because I don't know what actually breaks their, their spawning and growing. So if we can get away with doing this, that would actually be incredibly helpful. Just make this go all the way up, shall we? There's certain blocks that don't affect tree spawning, and then there's certain blocks that, like, will just prevent them spawning. Oops. Ooh, look at that. Shoot, we might be in business. Maybe. Uh, let's, let's stack this up with pistons. Do I have that command still? I do. Okay. Yeah, we might be able to put it closer and not need to worry about uh, double double extenders. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's stack this with solid blocks. I'm glad I double-checked this. That, that could have just saved us a lot of headache right there. Yeah, if we can get away with doing that, that'd be epic. Okay. Uh, let's try that in survival. Yeah, that's that seems fine. Okay, great. Cool beans! Yeah, we're in business, boys! For some extra, extra cheap stuff. I think that'll be perfectly fine. Because we just need to pull it back, like, once. Yeah, okay. Epic. So, we can actually move all of this forward a block. So, that can be, like, right there. And then you could stack it with honey as well. Tree farms, eh? Indeed! Indeed do be tree farming. E. Uh, we can power this one with like a... Powering these is going to be an extra hassle, I feel. Uh, honestly, it might not matter if we power all these with the same redstone line. I don't think that would matter. Let's see, that's gonna be six blocks there. Let's get our loggy boys. Where's my loggy boys at? There it is. Oop. This is sustainable, naturally harvested wood. There is no factory farming with my trees here. We don't do factory farming. Uh, these need to be swapped around. That shouldn't cause any issues, I don't think. Probably not. If it's right against the tree, could you push the whole thing over two blocks? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I I think I know what you mean here. So, if we could have the slime right here, or just pistons or whatever, uh, we could take our entire 2x2 two two of wood and push it to be, like, here. But then I think these logs would prevent a new tree from growing. Uh, but that does actually open up a couple of different ideas for a layout. Um, that's That's interesting. Let's actually try that real quick. Let's, uh, let's put all of our slimy boys right here. And then get some pistons in there just to see what happens. Natural slime. Naturally harvested with natural slime blocks. Yeah, see, that breaks it. You can't have it right next to it. Uh, you know what? I wonder if that's the pistons that are the problem, or if it's the slime that's the problem. It's the slime. Okay. Yeah, but if you have it a block back, then it should be fine, right? Ooh. What's being built tonight? We're building a 2x2 two two spruce tree farm. And we are figuring out how to just break physics. Laws of physics? Ha! <laughs> They're more like guidelines. Nobody tell physics novice. Uh, which one of these are we working on? We're working on this one right here. Okay. So that should be fine. Right, let's get this over here. And then we power that. Boop. That brings all logs over. And then we power this dude dob right here. A little bit too quick there. And then... Hmm... 
you bring all this over. Yeah, that does affect... We might need to redesign this double extender. That may be an issue. Let's see. Built the gas gunpowder farm yesterday. You're never building a creep farm again? Nice. Glad you like it. Hopefully it's working out well for you. Oh, physics novice is here in the chat. Ah, run. <laughs> run. I'm not here. You can't see me. Shh. Stream's over. Go away, physics. <laughs> right then. Ridiculous. That's why we can't have nice things. So it grabs 16 at a time. Uh, each wall grabs 6 at a time. Uh, so half, half of the tree. And then we can stack these up. So we'd have honey on top of this. Is that supposed to be so solid looking? Or is that just RTX packs? <laughs> That's a good quote. Yes, how do we want to do this part? Uh, let's let's try designing a double extender. It's like this. So, oh, I really don't know how to do these. I know this is super simple, but I always, I always forget how to do these things. Hold on. I always got to go to Google and look it up. You see one that fits inside of a tree farm, right? I, I never use these for anything, so I always forget how to build them. Computer on one block ahead of the sides, yeah. So then that goes there, so that you would have to power. Yeah, if we need to power that block, that's gonna be the issue. And then we need to like unpower that too. That's not gonna work. It extends, but it doesn't retract. Yeah, that's that's the issue there. Okay. I did it! Yay! <laughs> I swear I'm a professional. Uh right, so powering these blocks right here is the issue. Yeah, we can have that. Okay. What exactly is the issue here? Wait, hold on. I'm on this side. Right, okay. Um, That's the issue. So we need like a triple extender then. Or we need to push this over block. So we need to like maybe extend that to power this. But then you can't power it as it's like out there in the middle of the room. Which is the problem. Hmm. This observer here is the problem. So, like, if we bring this over, which we can, we can bring that over, boop, to here, and then we push it forward, and then it's going to activate that again, which isn't going to be great, but maybe we just don't worry about it. So, let's figure out how to do this extender. Because we can't have pistons that push forwards right here, otherwise that would uh, get in the way of the block line that's about to be going out. Put the observer on the other side. Uh, that's the thing. We can't have two facing right here. Because then you just have that issue. Like, whatever we built on this side needs to be mirrored on the other side as well. Uh, so this one's technically going to be, like, right here. Yeah, so that's kind of the issue there. So we need to figure out a solution that works around that problem. And it's, it's, it's a little bit of a problem. Uh, we also need to figure out how to, you know, power these. I think we can do that with observer lines. Some ideas for next live streams ban action. All you do is ban things. <laughs> That's great. 
Glad you enjoy them. Mm, I guess this one needs to be hard powered. That, and then we activate that. Oh, right, yeah, then it's, um, okay. Double extenders, they're complicated. A silent quotes book? We kind of do. Yeah, maybe this layout's just kind of flawed. Maybe we really do need to bring it back over two blocks. I thought keeping this wall and a block would make things simpler, but it actually doesn't. It actually doesn't, huh. Make one on Whispercraft? <laughs> Box of quotes. Book of quotes. Ban having items in inventory. Bruh, that's rude. Uh, we got Grimy, Qua or Cod, along with Huffy, or Huffy, and we also got Sword Flash, and uh, NASCAR, Z-Tron, and a couple others. Thank you guys for the follows. We also got Pat Mando, we're gifting a sub to Lantern. Hopefully you're doing great tonight, the both of you. And thank you everyone for the support. Okay, so with this one, if we bring the logs over to here, we can have that observer out of the way. And then that would bring the logs to here. And then we need to have still a double piston extender. To bring them back to here. And then you push them out. Right, so this double extender right here on this wall is kind of what we need to figure out. I'm not sure how to do that. Once we have a layout figured out, that's that's like the vast majority of the tree farm done, you know? The whole chat's just quotes. Jeez! Lots of quotes, fam. <laughs> What's the most complicated redstone project you guys have ever worked on? Let's take a look at this one over here. Hey, Chewbacca. Welcome in. How you doing? I haven't built this dark oak farm in survival, but I kind of have wanted to because I thought it would be insane. Oh, look at that. He's actually double, double grabbing. Yeah, I'm not failing yet. Doors. Some redstone doors are like extra complicated. That's, that's absolutely fair. Uh, this wall is also very complicated as well. Oh, he's got redstone blocks just hanging out in there. That explains the powering. Fair enough. Easier to use a flying machine instead? Maybe. We could do it. We could try a triple piston extender. That might honestly help us out a little bit more. Uh, so then he's double. Let's just, let's look at this farm in action real quick. Shall we? It's, it's very impressive, honestly. Very impressive. And then we got a lever over here somewhere. <laughs> that's that's a bit of lag, isn't it? <laughs> Why is it running so slow? Wow. It's it's not breaking, but it's like usually way faster than this. Hope no one has this built on the fan servers. My god. Wow. <laughs> that was that was some stuff right there. Okay. Jeez. Why is that so bad? Very impressive, yes. It's a lot of applause. Assemble the fan server police. Yeah, for real. I guess it's a lot of opportunity to see how it works, I guess. Yes, yeah, so we got double extenders over there. Ah, that's clever. Forgot about that right there. So let's see how he's getting the logs out of here. Let's wait for this to maybe stop whatever it's doing. <laughs> does the floor push up? It does, yeah, it does. Fancy. 
Right, so he is getting logs out in this way, which makes sense. Yeah. That's grabbing them a block. Two blocks forward. That's actually a double extended right on its own. Fancy. See, there's little things that you can glean from from uh, anything, really. Uh, let's, let's try this out. It's a pretty clever little double extender. And the floor pushes up on that one because there's redstone in the way. Uh, that would break if it had pistons at la that layer. So this is actually a double extender. I think this might be exactly what we need. You know, if you put a sticky piston on it. <laughs> yeah, that that is actually exactly what we need. Okay. Fantastic. Little things like that. So helpful. It's actually very similar to how flying machines operate too, honestly. Floor's doing push-ups? That's blasphemy. Yeah, they should be doing push-downs. <laughs> uh, right, let's try this. You guys ever heard the, the joke about Chuck Norris? Whenever he does push-ups, he doesn't actually do push-ups. He just pushes the world down. Yep, that's how it works. Uh, that might actually be the exact thing that we need right there. I think that might have just solved other problems. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, that's it. That's all we needed! Literally all we needed. Oh my, I could have come up with that had I actually thought for three seconds. But I'm an idiot, so what do you expect, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's actually all we needed right there. Uh, and then this one will do a push over. And then that'll activate that entire wall going up, but... Uh, that's that should be fine. That's not gonna break anything Cross your fingers knock on wood <laughs> Is this real wood? I don't know if this is real wood. That's probably real wood. I don't know go find some real wood in your house if you have some <laughs> Right then ridiculous Bruh. Easy easy Right then. Yeah, that's all we needed. Okay. Fantastic! Look at that. I'm a big smart brain. I figure out things. And nobody else can figure out. Mm-hmm. That's right. I'm smart like that. I just... I can't make a double piston extender, but, uh... I, I can do everything else. <laughs> so embarrassed. A fair and unbiased pull. What was the pull about? Knocked on wood. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Pat Mando. <laughs> hey, XNM. Welcome to the chat. How you doing? You got here right when we're about to be solving all the world's problems. Well, all my world's problems, anyway. Well, some of my problems. I got a lot of problems. Like we all do. Everybody's got problems. You guys got problems? I got problems. All right then, I think this might legitimately be the entire uh, thingy that we need. As far as I can tell, this should just be, should just be it. Right, uh, let's try all of this again, so. Oops. Poll was about mangrove farm. I, tum I completely missed it. It's like always right at the very top of the chat and there's always stuff up there anyway, so I never notice when a pull pops up. Silly. Yeah, mangrove trees, I think they'll be kind of a pain to farm specifically on bedrock edition probably because they're gonna have a lot of bugs <laughs> let's just let's just get that out there they're just gonna have a lot of bugs on bedrock edition that's fine uh we don't actually need that there okay as far as i can tell this should be this should be everything so we're gonna have our four logs like that per layer this is this is just like a one layer example uh so we would activate this side and this side and then you unactivate that Unactivate that, and then you activate 
this side, and this side. I, I forgot to swap the pistons out. Oops. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Some of these are definitely in the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, that should not be there. That should be... That should be like that. And then this should be facing that direction. And then this one right, right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, same thing for this side. Oops. My bad. Oops, this grabbed it on that side too. Okay, crap. I, I kind of broke the whole thing. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Uh, that should that should do it. Anyway, uh, let's try that again. Let's try that again. That way you guys can get a full idea of what's actually happening. Uh, what, what the plan is. Okay, so we, we grew up a, a tree. It's like 30-something blocks tall. We activate the left side. We activate the right side. That pulls the logs out of center. And it also breaks a ton of leaves along the way. And then we activate the front side, which retracts those two logs. We retract the back side, which retracts those two logs. And then we activate the far left over here, which takes them out entirely. We activate the far right. And uh, these are off by a block, right? Something about this is off. Oh, this entire thing is built just slightly off? Hold on. Okay, technical difficulties again. Mind me. <laughs> How's that working on that side? It's not working like that on that side. Okay, I see. Yeah, powering this is going to be kind of an issue. Entire forest update. That would be kind of neat. Did you guys hear the news today about the canceled features of 1.19? I made a short about it on YouTube. Uh, and Mojang also released a Ask Mojang about it. And that is kind of how we got the news. So bundles are not included in 1.19, which we kind of all knew, uh, to be fair. And then the uh, birch forests are not going to be getting an update either. Which we kind of knew that as well, because they never actually said there would be an update. And then mud is going to have a slight disparity. I think that's because of the pathfinding bug that I reported like years ago with, with pathfinding, with mobs being able to, mobs not being able to pathfind on short blocks. I'm pretty sure that's the bug. And then fireflies are also canceled as well. I thought you must say, well, it's a short. Uh, so shorts, sometimes, I don't know if they actually do get pushed to notifications. Do you guys ever get notifications for shorts? Uh, like, that short's got, like, 6,000 views on YouTube right now. I wonder how many it has on TikTok. Hold on. Because I uploaded it to TikTok, too. TikTok is crazy, man. Okay, it's got 2,400 views over there. Okay, it's trash. Uh, some things on TikTok get, like, 100,000 views. Like, for no reason. Whereas on YouTube, it gets, like, 30,000. And it's just crazy. What can I say? Did they announce a 1.19 release date? They did not. Uh, Hannah and Dog Spog, King Grim, and Azamalia. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Yeah, so I believe that this is actually the layout. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. We are going to have some double activations. Uh, so whenever we push logs out, that's going to activate these, which is actually fine. As long as these... Uh, no, they'll, they'll never be able to grab this wall. Okay, so that's a, that's a non-issue. It's maybe like a slight, um, it's not optimized, but it's a non-issue. Hey, Kim, how you doing? Oh, chest equals win, man, grub equals win, warden equals win, everything else is meh. The LA is a win? What are you talking about? Bruh, LA. <laughs> you only get the Discord notifications? Great reason to join our Discord server. Uh, let's figure out this wiring. I don't think it's that big of a deal, honestly. Okay. Uh, let's grab 
ourselves a structure block and let's build a tree farm. Hey, let's let's uh let's do it. It's gonna be big, but it's not really that big. It's kind of wide. Wide. Uh, honestly, we could have these be powered from the inside edge as well. So we don't even need these. Uh, that does need to be powered from the outside edge. Right then. Okay. That makes it a block, two blocks smaller. Look at that. Optimization. Heck yeah. Save. We're getting progress done. Uh, that's actually the, honestly, the hard part of the build. Complete. Getting a layout that you're confident in is incredibly time consuming but i think that this will work out uh as long as we can figure out the wiring of these like inner pistons that push the logs out uh these these dudes right here i think will be good it shouldn't be too big of a deal honestly and lay on bedrock would be interesting i think it'd be sweet does the azalea tree farm work yes yes it does uh just one of these Boop. there we go yeah, fairly straightforward little layering. We're going to get rid of this and this so it's not in the structure. So, spruce one, save. And then, oops. Do that and do that. Okay, let's take this. Take it away! We got to figure out how to line it up. Somewhere around here, maybe? Ah, it's a block off. And then all this stuff is in the way, too. Bringing a lay of diamonds. We do need a actual use for diamonds. And we do need an actual way to make more lays, too. For sure. Okay, is that correct? I think that I think that's right. Uh, we're gonna get rid of all this and get rid of all this. I just need to figure out how to get a player in here. I think the player is gonna go on this side right here. That way, there's no pistons going through their faces. We might not even use a minecart right here. I'm just trying to reserve some space for a player. New poll. Hey, we got a poll in the chat. Uh, what cut feature would you have liked the most? Copper horns, fireflies, bundles, archaeology, the illusioner? Illusioner was never going to be in 119, was it? Uh, uh, Twitch. Thank you for the follows. We also got Sean and Shruck Hair. Thank you for the follows as well. Welcome in. Yeah, illusioner would be epic. We really need that. And then archaeology. I am kind of looking forward to that whenever they eventually get around to it. 1.20-ish era. Bundles would have been good. Copper horn would have been fun as well. I don't know why they scrapped the copper horn. Like, it's already a fully coated feature. I mean, just keep it, right? Okay, I'm not seeing any issues with this paste. This redstone paste. Oh, look at that. It's within a chunk. Yes. It's fully within a chunk. Epic. I was going to say, if it got bigger than the dark oak tree farm, that just wouldn't be fair. It's actually smaller than a chunk. It's 14 by 12. Whoa, look at that. Just threw it in there. Fair enough. Just throwing it out there. Uh, we don't need the azaleas. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need... We need a lot of this stuff. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. How high, how high are we stacking it? It's a lot of pistons. It is a lot of pistons. Ah, uh, hold on. Let's save this one. And then we're gonna resave all that. Okay. Uh, we're actually gonna get rid of these logs here as well. Uh, so let's resave this. Since we're going to paste it 40 times. About to wipe out some of these. Actually, you know what? Let's just get rid of all these entirely. 
since I don't know how I want to power those right now, we're just not going to have them there. Uh, save, and then loady, loady. Now that's how you build a tree farm. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be so tall. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at this monstrosity. <laughs> build height. <laughs> yeah, build height, bro. Look at that. Oh my god. And you thought the dark oak tree farm was lag. Yeah, we're gonna have to make this thing run slow just to not crash the game. Very cheap and easy to build. Uh, half of that is a lie. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, we actually need that to be a block lower as well. So let's just do that real quick as well. Uh, bloop de bloop. That goes right there. Fantastic. Uh, we don't really need those. Actually, uh, I could have used that command block there still. Yeah, that way we can kind of uh, mess around with this and see what's up without the leaves being in the way of everything, you know? Uh, we might need to put some blocks on the faces of certain parts of this so that the leaves don't mess everything up, but we'll see we'll see what happens, I guess. The redstone bits that are to come. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is... This is a tree farm. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. What is that? Uh, one, two, three... Four, five. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen stacks of pistons already. Thirteen stacks of pistons. Four stacks of or thirteen stacks of pistons. You know, some some sticky, some uh, regular. And we got two stacks of observers. And then we got four stacks of slime just in this. That's cheap. It's a lot of pistons. It's a lot of pistons. Uh, that's that's what we knew going into it. Wait until you see the cube maker. <laughs> yeah, wait until you see that. That's gonna be great. Okay, how the hell do we wire this? How the hell do we wire this? Okay. Uh, we need to make the rest of this as cheap as we can get it. Right, so that's going to go every other layer. Until we get up to there. Okay. Sure, let's do it. Simples. Bigger is better. I would have to agree. Uh, you know what? The middle of these can be made out of slabs. So that's what we're going to do. That's what I'm saying. Make it, Make it as cheap as you can in any way that you can. Because people don't like big, expensive builds. How many people do you think are actually going to build this farm? <laughs> I hope everyone builds it. This should, this should be on every world. Better is cheaper. Can't argue with that logic. Okay, that, that was just oof, entirely messed up. What was I trying to do there? Okay, so that's uh, 6, 12, and then you got 24, and then 54, and then 60, and 66 redstone, plus another 24, 86, 90, that's, that's 90 redstone or something, something like that. You won't be, that's for sure. Oh, come on. <laughs> might make it during the summer. It's going to take a long time to make. It might. It might take a small duration of time to build. 
I'm not sure, but it might. Also, like, you can make it shorter if you want to. There's nothing stopping you. But, like, the mega farm is uh, definitely going to be a little bit tall. For sure. It's probably a better layout than this, but I'm not smart. Thirty minute tutorial. There's been a couple thirty minute tutorials on the channel. I mean, like, not really though, because once I show you how to build one layer, like that's it, you just build it thirty one times. <laughs> There's gonna be like an hour in between cuts just building up the farm though. Off to read and sleep. Nice. Hopefully you have a good night. Hopefully you have a good read as well. Reading's always good. Reading before bed's a lot better than YouTube or Twitch. <laughs> Take care. We'll see you later. Don't even get you started on collecting the resources for it. It'll be fine. I don't know what you guys are so worried about. Oh, this definitely... No, actually, it's going to be a lot cheaper than this. Okay? Listen, listen, listen. It's going to be a lot cheaper than this, okay? Because uh, this one can push, like, six of these. Missing some dust. Lies! Not, not lies. Okay. Uh, right, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So one of these can push four layers. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 6, 9, 12. Yep. Because it's not actually pulling back the logs. I'm smart, big difference. I'm not smart. What? Who told you that lie? You should not trust them. I can't even build a double piston extender. Uh, you know what? Some of these are going to have to be honey as well. Hold on. Honey I find to be a lot more expensive than uh, anything else. I never built a bee farm. I don't know if I've ever built a bee farm in survival, actually. Have I built a bee farm? Do you guys know if I built a bee farm? I built a tutorial on one. I don't know if I've ever built one. Okay. Uh, so that's all the pistons that you need for that side, actually. That's just definitely a lot less intimidating than this. <laughs> to be fair. That's great. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Do, 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 do. And the top is just like three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not nearly as expensive, is it? And yeah, the slime and honey don't stick to each other. Now, honey isn't supposed to conduct redstone power, but don't tell Mojang that. Because, like, it should definitely conduct redstone power. Like, for real. It, it, it should conduct redstone power. Who are we kidding? There we go. Yeah, so a little bit of a slog to, like, get the rest of this refined and stuff. But all the refining that we do makes it a lot cheaper and therefore makes it more viable for survival use. I really do try to make everything I do as, as like, cheap and simple as I can within the limits of what I'm trying to do. Should be less laggy as well. Yeah, less pistons. Activating is always going to be better. Um, right, and then the actual wiring for this wall is going to be incredibly simple. I think it should just be something like that, honestly.
There you go. We'll need to figure out how to get the redstone vertically up this whole this whole damn thing, but uh, that should be fine. Honestly, shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Does anybody see any immediate issues that I'm not thinking about? Probably so, but, uh, you know. You love the look and sound of honey blocks? Oh, they're so nice and squishy. They're deliciously squishy. No breaking blocks for a minute? Oh, how dare you. Rude. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to build up more of it. Uh, so that's actually a fair amount of this powered. We just need to power the intersections here. Intersection. <laughs> uh, right. How do we want to do that? Let's take a look at our thing over here. Glass. Yeah, a glass tower could be good. Torch tower. Torch towers are a bit slow. What redstone build took me the longest to design? I think the multi-item storage system. I think. Right, so we could power these with observers. And then... That would be a whole lot of observers. We can't power them with redstone directly. Like, we can't have redstone right here. Because that would just, you know, power these pistons. I mean, we could. You know, maybe we could power them with that. We might be able to get away with that. This might be very simple, actually. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things. Maybe I'm just overcomplicating it. And yeah, we're putting a slab right here. <laughs> uh, it's going to be some tight wiring in here, but I guess we'll see. See what happens. I'm, uh, I'm a derp and use your redstone, so I got this. Okay. Fair enough. Glad you guys got some confidence in me. <laughs> this thing is like 100% going to break like at least 20 times over while we're testing it. We just needed to fire it a few times and then see what breaks and then uh, we can kind of refine things from there. Oh, crap. Uh, these are going to get pushed forward. That's, that needs to be glazed terracotta. Oops. Okay, well, we noticed that right off the bat. What color glazed terracotta should we use? I just kind of grabbed one. Oh, right. Yeah, we kind of have observers here anyway, because uh, that would... Yeah. Oh, I think we might have to use redstone lines here regardless of what happens. Because if we put anything that's not... If we put anything here that could be picked up, then it's just going to push everything forward. So I think we have to do this. Unless we have, like, a repeater running into that block or something. Or obsidian. Yeah. Green. Slime will stick the block. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out, Leechum. Magenta. No! <laughs> Cyan or green or brown to match the sky or leaves of wood. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Glazed. Which one of these do I like the best? Browns? Alright. Green. We could do a green. Green could be good. Cyan. Actually, you know what? Cyan's pretty sweet. I do like I do like my cyans. I'm just gonna have one cyan up there just to bother you. <laughs> do you guys think cyan terracotta or, or sorry uh, do you think glazed terracotta is expensive because you literally just get some and then you like smelt it right it's not expensive it's just like you gotta go get some clay or find a mesa because everybody forgets that you can like smelt clay blocks into glaze let's put a clay block from like the swamps in it 
Me. This takes many effort. It takes a little bit of effort. Right. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Yeah, the stickiness of blocks. Interesting. Oh, you know what? This entire wall right here is way more pistons than it should be anyway. Right. Uh, this needs to be actually swapped out for things as well. I totally forgot about that. Hold on. Three. Yeah, so every three blocks, we need to swap this out. And then that's going to be a lot less pistons, actually. Okay, so it's not as many pistons as I thought it was. We just took down, like, two stacks of pistons off the cost. Okay, that's that's not as bad, actually. It's still, like, ten stacks of pistons. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's not a lot a lot. I could make it more expensive if I wanted to. Let's put it that way. There we go. Okay, that's, that's looking good. You're going to bed. Have a good night, Diamond Demon. Thanks for stopping by the stream tonight. We'll catch it later. It's not expensive. Nah. Why, why, would, it, why would it be expensive? Why do you think it, it's expensive? Not expensive at all. It's quite the bargain. Pushing those ones. Okay, great. Four, five. Yeah, something like that. I think that's all the ones that we need. Except this one. So a lot of that just got a lot cheaper, actually. Do I remember my early followers? I try to. Uh, if they're not around anymore, then I tend to forget. It's, it's kind of hard to remember so many names, you know? But yeah, if you've been around for a while, then I'll definitely remember you. Like, a lot of people that we got in the chat right now are regulars. So, the more I see you, like, the more likely I am to remember that you exist. <laughs> or, if we uh, really hung out a lot in the early days, then I still remember you. For sure. Okay, there's a bunch of this that could be cheaper. We are kind of increasing the complexity of the build, but I think that that's fine. Because this was always going to be a little bit complicated. As long as we keep it reasonable, then it shouldn't be too bad. You just don't want people like getting confused and messing things up left and right because then that just kind of ruins the whole build experience and people kind of abandon the builds and stuff that's not great do you remember that i exist who <laughs> of course i know you you hear it like every day jeez Okay, can do salt. Who's who's Ally? Hello, Edge Rock. Welcome, man. How you doing? Do I remember that you exist? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, if you're like here every day, like yeah. If I read your name like twenty times a stream, then you're burned into my brain, whether I like it or not. So you can take solace in that, I suppose. <laughs> 
back in the early days of YouTube, uh, they, I think it still happens. I think they, like, they would send you an email notification every time you got a subscriber. And I'd, like, read through those to myself and, like, thank everybody for subscribing. Uh, but then once we started getting, like, 100 subs a day, I was like, okay, I gotta turn that off. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> yeah, all the early subs I, I was reading off and thinking. Not on stream or anything, just, like, to myself. Okay. Now's a great time to spot, like, a critical fall flaw with this and, uh, you know, make it so we gotta tear down the whole thing. Just saying. Just putting that out there in case anyone wants to, uh, notice a critical flaw. Now's your time! After we just got done building everything! Some tree farm expert's gonna come in and be like, mm, actually... <laughs> would not be a bad thing better figure out that's broke now than like two hours from now uh let's see i think that's i think that's about everything yeah we just gotta figure out how to power all of that how do you send redstone up 30 blocks we got a lot of different options you watch watching twitch for months now but you just got an account well welcome in twitch is a pretty fun place isn't it there's, there's a lot of stuff to say you want to say zloy not ali ah that would do it uh, Taco Shark and Wave and Edge Rock, thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Hope you're doing great. On the bottom side, inside. Yep. Thank you. Right. Uh, so my original idea for this is one that I did on the original tree farm. And that is this little thing right here. So you push it up and then you got observers detecting everything. Which I think it might be a, a, a lot. <laughs> this thing is such a monstrosity. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, we might just be able to get away with repeaters, honestly. <laughs> right. We also need to, like need to figure out like dispensers and powering and crap, and tree detection circuits. Uh. Right, dispenser. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so luckily we do have a space for a dispenser right here. And then how do we check that the tree's growing? <clears throat> we could... Maybe use an observer. We can't push the tree up because it's too big. And we can't really have anything in this area because that'll just get launched off. And we can't have a repeater there. We could detect an observer. An observer has the issues of detecting too much, though. So we'd have to figure out a circuit for that. So, like, that's going to detect when it grows. And so it detects it once when you got yourself a sap lie. And then again, once it grows into a tree, I believe. And then a third time once it's removed. Observer on top of the dispenser. Huh. Let me let me let me see what's up with that. That's an interesting idea. I wonder how that works. I, th I think I know what you're going for there. I think I know what you're going for. So that should be sending out a constant signal. Yeah. That's constant signal. And then... Is that going to still be sending out a constant signal when the trees grow on? Probably. Yeah. Okay, so that, that doesn't work. That would be interesting if it did. Uh, we can't really detect the leaves either. Because it's inconsistent where they grow. So I think we need to detect it every three times. Is that right? One. And then. Two. And then three. 
Or no. Yeah, basically over three times. You just need to attack when it turns into a tree. So we need like a counter circuit. That's not too big of a deal. So that works only detects growth. Yeah. I mean, what other options do we have? Can't really send a signal downwards through this. Because even if we powered that block, like that or something, that, that wouldn't really be an option. Because there's no way to take that power out. You can't take it down or anything. Hey, Gloom. Welcome in. How you doing? Nothing the tree will grow. We should probably test that as well. Server above the dispenser. Oh, yeah, just raise it up a layer. Oh my god, you guys are brilliant. Yeah. Bruh. Okay, so that's still every two times. Yeah. So on top of the dispenser. That's what you guys are talking about. I thought you meant facing the dispenser. I'm an idiot. Mind me. Let's hope this tree grows. It does not grow. Okay. Still doesn't grow. Still doesn't grow. Crap. Something about this is wrong. Too many solid blocks somewhere. Is it the honey? Hello, sir, Ethan. Welcome in. Might be the honey. That, that would be unfortunate. I mean, we can back it up a layer, I guess. This means that we need to redo this entire thing. <laughs> we did test that it could grow. No, it's not that. Is it the slime? It's gotta be the slime then. Something's making it unhappy. Okay, so we need some double piston extenders there. Okay. We tested it. We made sure that that it would work. What did I do? I didn't do it. There it goes. Okay. Well, butts. That's so weird. That's very strange. So, like... Can we have slime there or not? Maybe it was the amount of slime? It's like, that seemed like it was fine. We definitely did that before. See, now it doesn't work. What's up with that? Is it directional? Damn it, Bedrock. You better not be directional. It did work. Exactly. That was that was the issue. It did work. I think it's directional, though, because we tried the slime on this side right here, which is not where we have it this time. So we might just need to rotate this whole thing. Directional tree growing. I don't really trust that. Yeah. See, look at that. It's directional. Ah! Why does it grow all the way down here? Bruh. What are you doing? It's always something, man. It's always something. I'm glad that we uh, got lucky with that directional test from the, from the get-go, though. Freaking directional tree growth! Bruh. Gonna die. <laughs> Do you think it's directional to both sides? Or can we only have it on one side? Let's, let's see. Is it gonna be fine with this? Also, I'm betting you it's north-south directional, right? Freaking, there's no thing called north. Using the trees to smashy. Yeah. Yeah. So we can have it to the south side. Can we have it to the north side? Please say yes. Please say yes. Please say yes. No. No! We can't! Because reasons! Only to the south. <laughs> oh my god. Bad rock edition! <laughs> Only to the south. Maybe to the east. Bro, that's such a rip. Come on. <laughs> of course the... Okay, south and east. Right, so this is garbage then. 
Uh, right. Well, let's let's get a marker in the middle. Oh my God, Bedrock Edition. Why? Why would it be directional though? There's no reason for that to be directional. Uh, slime has to be to the south. Northeast. Four trees to grow. Well, I'm on the southeast glitch. Oh, did you know about this, hey? Eh? Tell me that an hour ago. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take this over here. Yeah. Uh, you know what? We're going to make this one go up a little bit, actually. I want this whole thing. Ridiculous! Ridiculous. Same for rails, of course. You know, naturally. Why wouldn't? Yeah, why? Why not? Why wouldn't there be? It's always something. So, is that unintended or is that intended? Like, should we be able to put slime right there, or should we not be able to? Because if we should, then that's great. If we shouldn't, which I don't think we shouldn't, then that sucks. That means that we gotta redesign quite a bit of this. Or, no, it just means we need to back up the whole thing by a block. It's just gonna get a block bigger. Thanks, Bob, in the northwest corner. Blocks, yes. Checks a 5x5 five five center on northwest sapling. Bedrock Edition logic strikes again. That's great. Cool. Glad glad we can all be a part of this. Oh, well, one big happy Bedrock Edition family. That's great. Okay. That's that's great. You know, that's gonna change someday, and that's gonna break everybody's everything. Cool. So. Yeah, okay. Yep, sure. Uh, Celery and Big Boy Boy, thank you for the follows. Welcome in, everybody. All two of you. Right then. How do we want to deal with that? How do we want to deal with that? Double piston extenders? I mean, if it's if that's a reliable mechanic, then I guess we can probably use it. So that side's easy. The rest of this is not so easy. Because then you got to get these blocks out. Yeah, so getting that one out, you definitely need a double piston extender for. Um, right. Should be a symmetrical layout, so it's easy to build. Hundred forty thousand an hour. Jeez, carry you has a two by two spruce. I don't know. I did tree farms. It's cool. Welcome by a bug. Yeah, welcome to Bedrock Edition, though. Right then. Okay, this is part of the stream where we stare at the screen for five minutes, trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> Best part of everybody, everybody's uh, time here. Right, well, let's see what it would be like if we moved it all. I know it would be something like this. 140,000 logs an hour. Bruh. Spruce trees are big. <laughs> Spruce trees are big. Also big oof at the same time though. Really big oof. Uh, so we need to figure out a way to power those using redstone dust in the corners. That's a silly. So what we learned is big spruce tree farm is complicated. What we learned is that it's more complicated than it should be.
Yeah, more complicated than it should be due to issues. And that's fine though. That was weird sounding. Can gas spot with light? Yeah, they don't care about light levels. At all. Basically. Actually, there was just an update in the betas that made other nether mobs not care about light levels as well so i'm thinking i might be able to get a new nether fortress farm out of that because it has to do with like wither skeletons and blazes and stuff so if they spawn in high light levels then i think we can get them to spawn in a nether just like straight into another portal which is just like way overpowered uh, i love it don't tell about jing they might break it Although I think it's light level 7. Portal's put out 11. So, I don't know. There might not be anything that we can do about it. Or do with it. We'll just have to wait and see. I need to play around a bit though. Okay. Then we need to figure out how we're going to do these double extenders and stuff. Hey, Zetron. Welcome man. How you doing? See you later, Lantern. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you later. And the next one. Okay, so that's kind of what it all needs to be extended to. Because reasons. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger. You're going to spend a little bit more redstone dust. But I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. Uh, we should try this out, though. How do we want to do this doubles extenders? Le double extendor? How'd you get moved to there? What? Uh, get to power these at the same time. That makes sense. I'm doing pretty well. Just struggling with trees. Trees are pain. <laughs> trees are pain, but good. And then you gotta power these at the same time, too. Okay. Because otherwise, everything gets stuck. We should test if a tree will grow. Uh, I mean, it should, with what we just learned. Honestly, only one side needs to be moved out further. Like, this side could be left as is. No double piston extenders. Just, just this side needs to be blocked further out, which is kind of stupid. It's been confirmed. I don't have a green thumb for trees. <laughs> trees are great. But I hate them. I mean, what? <laughs> uh, how do we want to power that? That's kind of awkward. How do you power that? I can't just put that there because that's just gonna loop. Break it! Okay. Break it! Jeez. Yeah, hmm. Double piston extenders. Oh, eh, pain. The answer is you don't power them. But we need to power them at least once. Where are they at by default? I mean, we either have to power them from the sides, right here. Which I guess is fine, but we we have this in the way. I wonder how Zolson did that, because he had these lines of redstone blocks that were like in the build. I think they, they must be retracted at some point, right? 
answer is that that's not the way. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. Some, I'm missing something about it. Missing something. Something about this is off. Such a mess. Uh, this is why color-coded circuits are nice. How's he doing double piston extenders? Seems like he's only, he's not doing double extenders on the walls. Some, I'm missing something up there. Hold on, where's the entrance to this thing at? Here it is. Jeez. Yeah, so these are definitely... Okay, let's... Okay, yeah, he's powering them from in here. Right, so that's not an option for ours. What was here? This is. Yeah, he's powering them from the top and the bottom. Right, okay, well that explains it. Yeah, that's not really stackable though, is it? That works because these trees are only, like, whatever tall, but that does not work for the spruce. Redstone witchcraft is confusing a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a freaking... So he's powering it from the bottom. Okay. Not great for us. Hmm. Okay. I have to figure out a way that doesn't require that. Am I really a witch? Uh, for legal reasons, no. <laughs> we got Ellie and DS Hemo, along with Far Games and The Real Isaac. Thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome in. Yes, we power from below. We can't power. Okay, so. Huh. Hmm, we might have to redesign this entirely. That's that's stupid. It's complicated. See, what this is what I told you. The the layout's the most complicated part, right? Server double extender. Three two slime, two three honey with we'll observer double extender. Yeah, but the issue is that we're gonna have an entire row of pistons here and here. So we can't power from the sides. We have to power from the backs or something. So that all gets moved forward. So then we need to power this somehow. The only way to do that is like maybe bring an observer with it, but that's not really ideal. Hmm. Yeah, well, like what we just looked at is that the Dark Oak design can't be directly scaled up to this because it's powering from the bottom and tops of these pistons. So like if we had, you know, four pistons right here, uh, these ones would get pushed in and then it's powering blocks above it right here so that's not really ideal because then you'd have missing blocks in your spruce tree so that's not quite what you need uh, unless you're grabbing from multiple sides but that's not really great and that wouldn't really work anyway so double extending in this area i think what we need to do is get rid of this do one of those 6, 12. I think we need to have it be a 4. That way it's 8. And then we can bring in something like this. So at least we have the side to work from. Because then we can... Do something like that. Yeah, an observer in there, I guess. That's still going to clock if we place an observer there. Yeah. Not particularly helpful. I'm not sure how to do that then. See you later, Sam. Have a good one. Hmm. Man, why is there gotta be so many weird bugs? This this double extender stuff is only because of the shenanigans with that. That's so that's so dumb. There's always something, you know, always something with the bedrock edition. This was this was gonna be beauty. It was gonna be a giant, a monolith of pistons. I do kind of want to see what it would look like if it was fully firing and active, because that would just be kind of insane. It's it's so much, right? It's so it's so many. It's just absurd. 
but the stupid trees got the little bug. Just one little bug can ruin your day so often. Or one little inconsistency in the mechanics. Very strange. Just make a farm that you know doesn't work, but will work when the bug is fixed. Yeah, but a bug like this, like, who knows if this is intended or not. It seems intentional, if it's 5x5 five five based on the Northwest sapling. Like, that seems intentional. But, will it ever actually be a thing that gets fixed or adjusted? Probably not. Unless it's by accident. <laughs> you just look at the change logs for nether light spawning. Changes, it ranges from 0 to 11, meaning wither skeletons spawn in nether portal light. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, new wither skeleton farm win? Bro, that's so easy. Oh my, yeah, that's so easy. I could probably just like... Oh, so easy. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. That's great. New wither farm. That's gonna be so efficient. That's crazy. Oh my god. How efficient is the current one? It's like... 2300 skulls an hour? But with the new... Changes, we can uh... We can get a lot more than that. For sure. When's that new the wither farm coming out? Yeah, maybe we should do that. I know how to make a wither farm. Let's see. Wither. Let's see. Current design is... It'll load. I think it's 23 or 27. 2,700 skulls per hour. And that's with the mobs falling down and dropping in. And with everything taking up the mob cap all the time. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, we can probably get like... three, four thousand 4,000 skulls an hour. If they're spawning direct in portal. Direct and portals, like, super OP. Crazy. Well, that'll be a 119 farm then. Okay. Well, I'll have to sit and think about this for a while. Uh, maybe we'll talk to Zolson and see if he's got a solution for this stupid problem right here. Because that's kind of dumb. We can get away with it for one side, but I think we may as well just keep it consistent and do double extenders on both sides. That way, no matter what they change with this bug... Or mechanic or whatever, it'll just work and I will have to come back and fix it. Glad you enjoy the streams, Jumpy. Just make an axe efficiency five call good. That's usually what I do, but automation! Look how beautiful this would be. Look how beautiful that would be. <laughs> side piston. Yeah. There's just no way to power it, I don't think. There's probably something really easy like this that I'm missing. I mean... Like, why why don't we just try this? Like, literally this. You're so weird when I fly into you. Why do you sound so weird? See, that's gonna have issues with that. Let's take that back a layer. Uh, that's going to have issues with that still again. Hmm. So let's move it over. And forwards. Like that. And then... That'll be 612. Yep. That might actually do it. That drags something with it. Oh, it's dragging this, right? But, huh. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it works, but we'd have to redesign the walls again. I, I don't think... Hold on, Observer. Because that's... Obsidian. Yeah, see, you can't pull it back. With that there. And then you wouldn't be able to power that anyway, huh? Server pointing down, looking at something. Well, the thing is, we need to scale this up 30 plus blocks, so we can't really do anything at, like, this layer. Hmm. Let's 
Is that a problem? I mean, yes. Yes, that is a problem. Yeah, that is a problem because that messes up this whole thing right here. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I mean, that would technically do it, but... We need a non-sticky piston. Piston that can't stick to things. Four withers at your tree farm. You were AFK there the other day when the power went out? Uh-oh. That sounds bad. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good thing. Rut row. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'll come back to this. Shenanigans! I do want to get a good picture of this, though, while we're here. Can I turn on RTX? Uh, oh, wow, it actually worked for Stry. Look at that. This beautiful farm. RIP, beautiful tree farm. You shall be missed. It was a good one. It was a good one. I really wish this would have worked. It, it should work. But you know what? Reasons. Reasons, man. Kind of walked into that one. Bedrock Edition does you that way sometimes. Observer next to stick a piston. Does this cross trunk borders? No, it's it's supposed to be trunk aligned. Uh, well, that one's trunk aligned. This one probably... Yeah, this one crosses trunk borders somewhere over here. Not that it really matters. Uh, this is just a prototype trying to figure out how to do this stupid double extender. Anyway. Ridiculousness. I'll figure that out. That shouldn't be too big of a deal, actually. I just can't do it while I'm streaming because, you know, brain gets fried while streaming. Too complicated to type. Yeah, you can send me a picture if you feel like it. Uh, physics. Uh, Fast Cat and Lena, the uh, real Isaac, and a couple others. Thank you guys for being our last minute followers today. Hopefully you have all enjoyed today's live stream. We'll be streaming in on Thursday night, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard, 8.30 Eastern, late UK, early Australian. And we're going to end by raiding someone as we always do. Nobody's streaming on Truly Bedrock, so let's see what all is happening. We got... Basically, nobody's streaming right now. I think we are streaming at a bad time of day to raid people. Anyway, we're going to hang out with the Marine Mammal Rescue Channel and look at some otters. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's live stream, then make sure to drop a follow on the channel as it's the best way to help out the channel and our community. And it also ensures that you get to see more live streams in the future. I'll be streaming again on Thursday, like I said. And there's also the rest of my links in chat in case you want to watch something on YouTube or join our community Discord. Otherwise, have a good night, everybody. I love your faces, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.